Dennis Diderot's Supplemental Voyage to Bougainville is a thought-provoking narrative that delves into the complexities of culture, civilization, and morality through the lens of encounters between European explorers and the Tahitian society. Written in the form of a dialogue between two characters, the work challenges the prevailing notions of European superiority, advocating for a deeper understanding of cultural relativism and moral values. At its core, the novel contrasts the contrasting societies of Tahiti and Europe, highlighting the supposed savage simplicity of Tahitian society against the complex norms of European civilization. The protagonist, Bougainville, returns from Tahiti, emphasizing the virtues of Tahitian society, particularly its uninhibited sexual freedom and communal living. Diderot presents a narrative where the Tahitian culture, though deemed uncivilized by European standards, exemplifies a more liberated and harmonious way of life. The character of Orifarn, a Tahitian elder, serves as a voice challenging Bougainville's ethnocentric views. Orifarn critiques European society, pointing out its hypocrisies and moral failings despite its claim to superiority. Through this dialogue, Diderot prompts readers to question their preconceived notions of morality and societal values, urging them to consider the relativity of cultural norms. Diderot also employs the contrast between Tahitian innocence and European corruption to critique the societal constraints prevalent in Europe. He uses Tahiti as a utopian foil to European society, where social constructs like monogamy, property ownership, and rigid moral codes are re-examined through Bougainville's eyes. The novel serves as a platform for Diderot to challenge the established norms of his time, advocating for a more tolerant and accepting worldview. Furthermore, the work explores the theme of colonization and its impact on indigenous cultures. Diderot raises pertinent questions about the consequences of European colonization, highlighting the potential destruction of native cultures and the imposition of foreign ideologies. He critiques the exploitative nature of colonization, emphasizing the importance of respecting cultural diversity and autonomy. The narrative structure of a dialogue allows for a nuanced exploration of conflicting viewpoints. Diderot doesn't impose a singular perspective but rather encourages readers to engage in critical thinking and introspection. Through the conversations between characters, the author presents a multifaceted discourse on cultural relativism, morality, and societal norms. In conclusion, Supplemental Voyage de Bougainville stands as a philosophical and ideological masterpiece that challenges conventional beliefs about civilization and morality. Diderot's work remains relevant, prompting readers to contemplate the significance of cultural diversity, the limitations of ethnocentrism, and the necessity of embracing different perspectives in a globalized world. The novel serves as a timeless exploration of human values, advocating for tolerance, understanding, and a more inclusive worldview.